The undersheriff told me that investigators were following up on a strong lead, but still no word tonight on this man's identity. And at least three workers won't ever forget what they discovered today. We do paper, plastic, cardboard, metals, all the metals, ferrous, non-ferrous. Uh, we do cars. It was a work day like any other for employees of Alpco Recycling in Macedon. But something happened mid-morning to change the day for three workers sifting through a cardboard load that had just been dumped. The workers from Alpco, uh, while they were sifting through the recyclables, uh, discovered a deceased white uh, male, middle-aged, uh, and then contacted uh, the sheriff's office. Workers were shaken. It was very traumatizing to the employees. Um, so they're emotionally having a, a tough time with this. We're told the body was fully clothed, but police found no ID. They think the body may have been in a dumpster. It was on a truck that collects recyclables from dumpsters at companies in Rochester and eastern Monroe County. The body was bruised. We're at this point in time unable to determine uh, whether the uh, injuries were sustained inside the recyclable truck or prior to, prior to the uh, body ending up inside the truck. The truck compresses materials. Meanwhile, it was business as usual elsewhere at Alpco. However, Plum said her main concern was focused on the workers. We've been in business here for 50 years at Alpco, and we've never had this happen before ever. The sheriff's office hopes to get more answers tomorrow when the Monroe County Medical Examiner conducts an autopsy. And this cardboard came from where? Well, the sheriff's office tells us, that, tells us that this is a truck owned by Cleanway Disposal of Rochester. It provides trash collection for businesses. This particular truck picked up commercial-grade cardboard in the area of Winton Road and heading into the eastern suburbs of Monroe County.